everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth of Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and today we are gonna be talking about that Kafir Q&A where they dropped some pretty juicy information. Sorry, we couldn't get to it earlier in the week, but there's just some absolutely nutty stuff going on, like all the Bunker Floor 4 teasers, hopefully 1.7.9 coming our way super soon, and just tons of awesome stuff like that that I was stupidly hyped for, but I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. We are gonna be talking about that. We gonna be setting out on a little bit of a raid later in the video as well because if you looky looky here you should be able to see our stuff has been stolen yet again that is right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we have been raided again which is great news so we're gonna be trying to knock that out go on a raid potentially fix up our base because they are all they're one stone wall away from breaking into some of our chest rooms which is honestly such a nightmare absolutely do not want that to happen absolutely not we don't want that but without further ado before we hop into that raid and these raids have been super super juicy as of late which is absolutely crazy uh you can see we even have the materials here for some more hatchets 2c4 to roll with and the silenced weapons of course but uh, without further ado let's hop into this kafir q a and also announce the winner of the weekly 25 dollar gift card giveaway a little bit later in the video is also it's gonna be an action fact episode that i can't wait to hop into y'all with but without further ado do number one will there be one of a kind items i want the dealers a t-shirt will there be such items yes there are going to be unique items like that in the game but will they be obtainable and the answer is no so unfortunately what i think kafir is saying is that there are going to be unique items that potentially npcs and enemies that we encounter throughout the game throughout the world there are going to be unique items in such circumstances but they're not necessarily for us to loot for us to have just to kind of make the world seem more alive that type of stuff and as we go through this q and i cannot wait to hear from y'all in that comment section down below and reminder that today actually marks the beginning of a brand new weekly 25 dollar itunes slash play store gift card giveaway because every time we announce the winner we also go ahead and start a new giveaway which is this action packed amazingness if you ask me and if you guys don't know the rules for that all you gotta do is make sure to comment on this video make sure you are subscribed and make sure to drop a like on it as well that will enter you on this video y'all can enter it on every last day on earth video when saturday rolls around like today I pick a random video from the past week, pick a random comment from the random video, and that is the winner for the iOS slash Android $25 that will be sent your way absolutely ASAP. So best of luck to you guys with that, and reminder that the notification bell is actually very, very handy for such things, because with the notification bell, A, you don't miss the video, and B, I can make sure to inform you guys especially with what appears to be 1.7.9 on the verge of coming out and oh dude i really hope this thing comes out soon because they're teasing this bunker floor four they're teasing so much that i just cannot wait to get my hands on i'm so excited i'm gonna be so excited to share with you guys how that update works what to do what not to do and to just have a fan freaking fantastic time in it that's always the main goal but with that all said why don't we move on to number two will the flamethrower have some specific function Yes, it will sow darkness and destruction. So I really like Kafir's answer here. But uh, it's just kind of like a weird question, I guess, because I mean, the flamethrower is, long story short, a weapon. Its purpose is to kill zombies and other AI and stuff. And I don't know, it spits flames, but I really like Kafir's answer there. And I'm very excited for the flamethrower whenever we do see it. They posted a sneak peek slash preview of it in kind of like the early phases of development uh, a couple weeks or maybe even a couple months back at this point. And honestly, I'm very excited because that looks like it's going to be such a dope weapon potentially a big weapon kind of like the minigun that slows us down when we walk around and dude just imagine going in the bunker especially that upcoming floor four with one of those puppies and just wrecking a little bit of destruction mm. God, that sounds like a fun time. Not as fun, though, as number three. If you go out and look at part of the undiscovered area, you will see what looks like a meteor crash site. Will this be important? Maybe where the zombie virus originated from, this will definitely be important. We would not like to disclose all the secrets beforehand. You will soon find out about it. So, Kafir is saying right here that you guys should be seeing on my screen, this thing, this giant meteor crater, if you just go a little bit of ways off the map, as always, existed people have always been asking questions about this and here kafir is saying that the secret of the crater will be revealed it's not just some random crater on the map oh 
no, 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 no. It will serve a purpose and we will be seeing. They are seeing. We will soon find out about that. I don't know. I don't think that means that soon we'll find out about it in game, but I do think that, that means that first they'll at least start talking about it, teasing it a little bit. But right now, before we even get over there, we do still have some other things back at home. We got to prioritize and some freaking dank updates coming our way before that. So uh, why we they probably want to stay a little bit focused on that. But I want to stay focused and move on to number four. Will we have the option to tame wolves into dogs, aka domesticate them in the future when the pet option is available? Such a possibility cannot be excluded. So by the way, the Kafir is saying this, they're kind of trying to like tiptoe around it. Maybe it's like a hidden feature that they don't want to reveal too much about. Or maybe they're like, hey, that's a cool idea. We actually might work on implementing that in the future. So it's kind of, you know, it's not a very concrete response, something that Kafir, they tend not to do the most concrete responses, but that is good to know that they are going to be considering this as an option. That'd be so awesome. Not just having to like, I, who even knows how we're going to get dogs now, but like taming a wolf just from the wild, bringing them back home and just being like, yo, hello, Wolfie. Uh, ha <laughs> ha. You seem cool. Number five, this is a zombie survival game. So will there be new zones with high radiation, maybe similar size and difficulties bunker alpha? For example, something like a nuclear power plant with creepy mutated zombies. We love this idea and we are planning to implement it in one way or another. So this is amazing. The computer is indeed going to have at some point in the future of the game. So I mean, not necessarily a nuclear power plant, but I do think that they are going to have some kind of zone centered around radiation. I think they even talked about this in a prior Q&A or potentially a prior leak one of the two but I believe that it had something to do with like an irradiated zone something along those lines that'd be so awesome to actually see our hands on such a thing on such an irradiated zone filled with like special irradiated zombies potentially you need like special armor you have to somehow get to go there you can get awesome loot from there tons of potential at this point I'd love to hear guys ideas but it's very general a lot of different places could be high radiation there could be lots of random reasons for random places being radiated and there's just so much potential for Kafir to have fun with just such a great idea with developing this. And I'd love to hear guys' hypothesis since it is such a general point here. Number six, will the buff effects on the event items like the dumplings still work after the event? I understand that unconsumed items will not disappear once the event ends, but how about it's a buff effect? So... Uh, well, I, I think that's wrong, though, because I, I do think that event items do disappear once the event ends. It's just that some happen to stick around, like the Chinese New Year armor, that type of stuff. But let's see what Kafir has to say. Buffs of such items as dumplings are active only during events. As a rule, after the event is over, their effect disappears. But I'm pretty sure that them as food items also do disappear. So who knows? But if they do happen to stick around, Kafir here is saying that, uh, no, those are meant for the event. They're not meant to be stockpiled or anything like that. But we do still get to stockpile stuff from different events. And I mean, from what they said, I think in the last Q&A, we're not going to be getting uh, more, a lot of holiday events for the near future. I think they're trying to kind of focus and bunker down on uh, whatchamacallit, just developing the game on doing more permanent stuff because the, the, the massive holidays, right? Those always come near the end of the year slash beginning of the year. And uh, I think we docked out most of them with like Halloween, Christmas, that type of stuff. And I think Kafir saw the response and they're like, all right. Yeah, let, let's people, I, I don't think they like us working on events as much as they like new stuff. So Kafir's probably trying to focus on the new stuff. Number seven. Is there gonna be a boss in the future that you can't kill alone, but you must kill with other players or friends? Yes, after the release of synchronized multiplayer, such bosses will become relevant. Dude, this is absolutely nutty, nutty, nutty news that there is going to be some kind of freaking mm, multiplayer boss bosses that is a huge announcement Kafir, i don't think they ever addressed this before but we do know we know about some single player bosses we know about the blind one we know about the big one but now these aren't just going to be bosses that you just so happen to be able to do with your friends. No, you have to do them in some form of multiplayer because, I don't know, maybe it's just too hard to do solo. Maybe they're going to be complex mechanics, something like that. But this is an awesome point, and multiplayer bosses are going to be huge. And honestly, that that, that I, I never even considered that when thinking about multiplayer. But now that they mention it, now that they talk about it being a thing, I'm just like, yo, yo, 
this is gonna be dope that is mm, that's gonna be awesome i'd even love to hear from you guys what your ideas for such bosses might be and maybe why they need to be multiplayer maybe like different people have to be doing different things maybe one person has to like stun him or distract him while someone like sneaks up maybe has like a weak spot on his back someone has to sneak up on him shotgun rain him in the back and then kind of do something like that there's a cut there's a ton of potential and this is honestly such a big and massive point i would love to hear from y'all in the comment section down below especially regarding this one but let's go ahead and let's start hearing about number eight repair bench how will it work only repairing equipment and or weapons that have a short life if the gun breaks on the field can you fix it on the bench or will the weapon be lost you will be able to repair only the equipment you have in your inventory if a gun breaks there will be no way to bring it back which is unfortunate but that makes sense because a broken gun literally disappears from your inventory and you can't really repair something that doesn't doesn't exist you know what i mean <laughs> you know what i'm saying but this is also the kafir is addressing the repair bench is obviously a very hyped up feature and this is going to be such an amazing building to build back at home because the ability to repair a lot of things like i think it's going to be able to repair more than weapons but the ability to repair such things is going to be ridiculously important and it will hopefully allow us to even like dude just imagine that being able to repair a gun instead of just allowing it and having it like break down and stuff especially if your gun happens like a couple shots left and it's not even super worth it to like you know it's like oh well if i take it out and use it it's just gonna break right away i gotta swap out another weapon like it can be a pain so the ability to upgrade not upgrade uh repair them is gonna be huge and the repair bench mm, man i am so excited for that thing to come as well there's probably that and the radio tower probably the two most excited for things i am that we're gonna be able to build in the base as of right now because the radio tower is gonna lead to multiplayer and clans and this puppy ooh, that's gonna lead to a whole new system of keeping our stuff up in tippity toppity shape number nine do you plan to expand the functionality of the radio yes radio is one of our favorite tools and it will definitely play a significant role in the further development of the game so this is awesome news because you guys did see uh kafir implement the whole new radio system where just recently in the latest update the dealer can now contact us which is honestly huge but uh also the other thing that it allows us to do is get the bunker code we can talk to raiders and it's just so awesome having all these different systems and imagine them adding more channels especially as multiplayer comes as new quests come maybe as more events arrive have more events linked in with the radio there's so much awesome potential i love the radio and i'm so happy to hear that kafir loves it as one of their favorite tools and they do plan on having it play a significant role especially because when you think about it it's not the craziest thing to craft it's more than reasonable to craft and the functionality you get out of it it's just so cool and i don't know at least compared to before it's honestly just such a cooler feeling when you contact the raiders and it just feels more natural than just randomly just like every couple days just raiders show up at your base just like sup and you're like uh sup you guys uh want some tea or something like i i don't know dude like why are you here i didn't i didn't, I didn't invite you over all right where, where's the common courtesy ain't none of that but let's move on finally to number 10 have you guys considered adding zombified ai players as a rare encounter with high quality degraded equipment or a rare item yes we thought about it but in the long-term plans our artists have drawn up a sketch would you like to see it kafir please 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 send this sketch towards the way of everybody's faces and everybody's eyes i would love to see the sketch i know that sometimes people don't like sketches because they're like oh when are we gonna see this and in six months ho, 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 you know but it's still awesome to see things that are being worked upon and like I, I don't care if it's a long time in the future dude i still love being able to know that okay this stuff's in the works maybe this certain stuff's a little bit earlier in the dev cycle because they're only sketching it this stuff okay they got in-game models it's just awesome to see all the stuff coming along in the pipeline because you're piecing it together into updates and this honestly it's really good to hear it sucks that it's in the long-term plans but it is amazing to hear that uh, they are considering this because this is gonna be so cool especially i could actually see it potentially being a thing with multiplayer because maybe if someone dies in an ai zone they become zombified and you know you have the potential of fighting someone dead you know if you that that's actually a really cool implementation for this potentially like imagine that if you die in a multiplayer zone instead of just your body disappearing like it could add more risk too but you know you'd, you'd fight other zombified dead players and the loot you get from them could be like part of the loot that they dropped or something that doesn't mean that necessarily you lose 
lost that loot. Although that would be a thing, because if you die and you become zombified, uh, maybe you could still get it back somehow, but I, I don't know, dude. That's just such a cool system, and I love the fact that they are considering this, and especially if, if stuff is degraded, like the guy was suggesting, uh, all we gotta do is, dude, if the repair bench is in-game, boom, shaka laka, boom, things are gonna be totally litty with that puppy but with that that is gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this week's q and can't wait to hear from y'all in that comment section down below and reminder that that new giveaway is starting this week and uh, speaking of the giveaway why don't we go ahead and announce the winner of this past week's giveaway so huge congratulations to the winning video first with and actually the randomly chosen video was we were talking about the new update 1.7 Point eight, where we learned about the new female character, the traitor radio, the turret upgrades. We found out about those being a thing and just so much of this awesome stuff. And it's like, ah, it's freaking dope, right? So that was an awesome video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And huge congratulations to the randomly chosen comments. Chip, the game uh, won. Wow. So happy for the new update, my man. I'm happy that you are happy. And because of that, the world just got a little bit happier. So shouts out to you. And hopefully you are happy that you just won the $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card. Good. But you got to let me know, though, in your inbox. If you don't know how to get to your YouTube inbox, it will either be in the pinned comment or in the description. One of the two. Sometimes I forget to update the descriptions, but I usually remember to put it in the pinned comment. Head on over there. Reply to me and let me know if you want Android or iOS so I can shoot that puppy over your way. Absolutely said but with that that's enough talking let's get to doing some action oh here's the thing i i am tempted to really quickly let's actually hop back into the base uh what i want to do really 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 quick first it shouldn't take too long but i do want to drop off the m16 i don't want to use this for the raid because I think that the full like half of a VSS and a fully modded pistol should be more than enough for what we're trying to do. So I'm just not trying to like bring too much. I'm trying to save as much inventory space as I can. I'm very confident that this is going to be a uh, stone wall raid though. So we do need to keep our eyes peeled for that. Why don't we go ahead and let's actually toss those C4 into there. Dude, honestly, at this point, why don't we just leave the C4? In our inventory because we've been having to consistently use c4 so far we've only had to use one per raid because most people only have one layer of level three stone walls but still all right it's always good to have a second one because you never know maybe someone's gonna have a really good I had to burp a little bit really good panic room uh surrounded with another layer of the level three walls and if we get into that puppy ooh, 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 things don't get juicy but uh all right then with that i just need to find a freaking inventory slot because <laughs> uh raid raiders problems when you run out of when you run this is dude i i suffer from the most first world problems ever and these things really are first world problems oh and the good thing here about uh crafting up these hatches that we're about to do all right on here but the awesome thing about this is that this should actually be enough hatchets to finish up with the raiders that are chilling at our base they had a quest for us regarding hatchets and I'm like, yo, my Raiden brothers, I got you covered. No worries there. So why don't we go ahead and put the rest of these puppies over into safety. Uh, we got to find, dude, we need like one more inventory slot. Uh, talk about the worst. Oh, we should just be able to two birds, one stone this puppy. Actually, if we head on over here to the workbench. Oh, yeah, Baba. I don't know who Baba is. I think that's how, isn't Baba? No, that's Babcia. That's how, that's how you say grandma in Polish. Yeah, fun fact. I, I mention it sometimes. I definitely don't parade it around, but, uh, yeah, move up a Polsku. Tak. Bardzo dobrze. Moja koledzy i koleżanki. Yeah, If you guys don't know what that means, bless up to you. If you're Polish, if you don't know what that means, bless up to you too. You ain't Polish. I don't care if you are Polish. I don't care if you are. At the end of the day, the only thing I care about is you doing the bestest that you can to have an absolutely fan freaking tastic day. That's how I live my life on the day to day. Ooh, we got a chopper event we could do a pit stop to as well. Although, chopper, listen, I love you, but you broke my heart and the raids got my heart back when a couple days ago all right after months months of trying the chopper event no scuba mask but we got lucky a while ago 
We got through a raid the scuba mask, the rarest item that was eluding me for the longest time. Now I'm pretty sure we have every item that is technically possible to get in the game. Like I think you can quote unquote get the dragon off, although it's not in the game, so it totally breaks your game when you try to equip it or if you have it in your inventory. So that's just kind of good to know. And ooh, are these stone walls? Uh, I believe that the oh no, these are actually level two walls. Hmm, alrighty then. Well, it looks like this guy's got a pretty fat base. So that might be a bit of a doozy. Ooh, he's someone with a chopper though, which is very good. It does not look like he's a kind fella though. If he was a kind fella, he would be leaving something in the pickup truck. Uh, although, potentially, dude, I really hope Kafir doesn't end up fixing that. Although they probably will where you can. Ooh, hello. That is an amazing start. I, I, I enjoy this. I, I enjoy all of this. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, talk about a solid start. Uh, I, I really got to get some food, though, so we should probably start this raid as soon as we can. All right, and then how do we want to begin the breaking and entering process? Um, well, first off, I probably want to get some food and probably want to chow down on it. So really quick, like, I'm going to do that. And all right, boys, after having acquired a couple of steaks and putting those puppies over hither... Inside our inventory, you gotta admit, we haven't even broken into one wall. And already, the loot that we got our hands on, mm, things are looking juicy. Juicy, just like the steak right there. It's literally juicy. <laughs> All right, but listen, the chopper may have had good loot. That is an amazing sign that potentially something amazing awaits us soon. But uh, that doesn't mean we're gonna stop right there. We gotta do the breaking and entering. We got five of these hatchets, which will hopefully allow us to... Plenty of entry and ooh, a stone wall, you say. Now, since this guy doesn't have all stone walls around his base, why would he just, you know, he, he obviously doesn't have stone walls to spare. What I think that means is that there's something valuable on the other side of this puppy, AKA boys and girls. Hope you're ready to blow. We get a demolitions crew in. There's about to be a big boom. And we have arrived at what appears to be some sort of nice little chest area. <gasps> oh, mama. That's a lot of fast spiders. I totally forgot about you guys. I was too focused about the boom. All right, get out of here, floater bloaters. Y'all got to go too. You too, fast spider. I think there's going to be one more abomination coming our way. Let's grab that fully modded pistola to take him out with the perfect amount of damage. No damage wasted. That is always the best when you can manage to do that. But ooh, ooh. Had to burp a little bit. Ooh, that's a... So smelly what, what did i eat today oh saucy <laughs> but uh why don't we go well, I, I say we start by trying to break into these puppies anything good awaiting us within these chests uh, i don't know this could be a miss i feel i thought there was stone i thought it'd be valuable but potentially uh, he's got paints and stuff i just ah uh, uh, do we try? Uh, listen, why don't, we, why don't we risk a little bit of noise? Let's see if maybe this. Okay, dude, I'm holding down the axe. Keep chopping, plus. Maybe something else will await us on the other side here. No, dude, that that makes way too much noise, honestly. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, we get like 10 noise per level 2 wall. That's a little bit too much noise, in my opinion. So, honestly, we already have a room here. We already spent a C4 breaking into here. Let's not spend anything else trying to get into different areas. Let's just focus our hand on trying to get the most that we can out of this area because everything here is level two walls every level two wall we break is one less chest we can open and at this point we still got to open like six more chests and we're already over 50 times so I, I think we should be able to pull it off but I, I don't think it's worth risking any more iron hatchets for which is sucky because ah dude this mm, I don't know if this has its valuables like it's got some solid stuff but I it's mm, I got a pistol I guess that's car oil filter that's okay like might as well grab what we can but ooh, I we may have we, this might be a swing and a miss dude at least throughout all the last raids we've done at least it's been consistent in being dope raids at least we have that go like uh dope bases i mean not dope raids this is a this raid might end up biting us in the bum a little bit because our luck is obviously not we didn't break into the right room and we already invested so much noise getting into here it's already a sunk cost i think it's a good idea that we just try to keep doing this see what we can get out of it please don't die to the toxic domination brothers over here but just be ready to use that medkit 
want to use it as late as possible to make sure that we got the maximum effect out of it. Uh, why don't we go ahead? Let's eat up a juicy steak. Marvelous, marvelous. And why don't we try and open this puppy up? I think that that's a good idea. Let's see what this chest has for us. Hopefully, it's pretty good. If not, I mean, at this point, yeah, I'm, I'm not really expecting really good anymore. I don't think we got into the best room that we could. Like, there's some okay stuff, I guess. Like, batteries and whatnot that might be very useful moving forward. Like, maybe when that turret update comes out, maybe they gotta be battery powered. Because, like, I don't know, dude. Like, my TV remote needs batteries. If someone's trying to do a freaking auto turret, I imagine it's gonna need a, probably need some more electricity. So, probably a lot of batteries. You know, auto turrets are a little bit more complex than TV remotes as well. Uh, hard alcohol, though, dude. I'm honestly super down for taking that because the level 4 floor is going to have frozen zombies and a frozen areas by the looks of it. So, hard alcohol will be our friend in making sure that we don't go cold in such situations. So, I'm super down for that. Uh, I'd, I'd not really... I mean, maybe I'll take I'll, I'll take a house plan, dude. I'm sorry. You can call me the plant thief. Oh, no, 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 no. I die in a thirst. Of course, there's nothing. I'm just gonna have to eat a ton of steak to hydrate, which is kind of a bummer, but... Eh, I mean, it also, like, opens up another slot, so that's okay. This pistol's about to break, honestly. I don't think we... Yeah. I mean, I think the big one's gonna show up next. There's no other waves that we have to deal with, so... Might just try and... God. I know that this man had good stuff somewhere, but that is the risks that come with raiding. You make a decision, you gotta stick with it, and unfortunately, we made a poor decision. We chose poorly today. Unfortunate, I know, but hey, not much we can do, you know? But at the very least, we are walking out of here with an AK, and this was a revenge raid. And again, revenge raids, you don't even have to knock out any quests, don't have to sink in any coins, none of that, none of that, none of that. And maybe we should have, maybe we should have followed the welcome mat. Yeah, that, that, that might have been a better idea moving forward but hey sometimes you gotta get ballsy and just so happened that the ballsiness of today was not the proper ballsiness or something <laughs> oh man that's such a bummer hey we got tons of gas though and from that leak that doomerous leaked just a couple days ago that we talked about in the last episode it was like within the last two episodes or something uh i think we are gonna need to pour gas into something so honestly like i'm not too salty about that this is it's an okay raid, I will say that. It, it adds so much more potential to be better. Just so happens that we got unlucky with our choices, but you, you can't always be 100% right. You just gotta try and guess properly. We did our best to guess to the best of our ability, and it just didn't work out. We do need to be ready, though, to run for the freaking hills as soon as this one is open, because this is where <gasps> absolutely nothing good comes, and the big one is starting to come after us. No, 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 no. No need to fight me, big one. No need. We chill, we chill. All right, I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave. All right, I get it. I get it. You and the dude I'm raiding, you, you guys are homies. I understand. I, if I was as massive and swole as you, I would go to the help of my friends a lot more often as well. Because right now, well, I'm lanky. Lanky doesn't really, uh, strike fear into the hearts of enemies, you know what I mean? Like, I got tall going for me, at least that's a thing, but, uh, uh, I gotta do some more muscle mass. It's hard, dude, alright? I'm a full-time college student, alright? I'm grinding on that YouTube, making some favorite fantastic this hopefully spread, and, um, not a lot of time for workouts in between all of that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Nah, I do my best though. I try to stay active. Sometimes all oh, the best is whenever I can just manage to get all my homework done, all the YouTube stuff done for the day, and then I can just, uh, whatchamacall, I can just like chill, go for like two to three hours, knock out some basketball, and try to get better at putting a ball through a circle. What can I say? It's one of my life's goals and life's greatest accomplishments that I can put a ball through a hoop sometimes. But with that, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of Last Day on Earth. Hopefully soon, though, I'll be talking to you guys on update 1.7.9. Hopefully that's coming our way soon, and hopefully it will include the bunker floor floor, uh, along with a new event I'm pretty sure is coming in the form of that oak thing, uh, which yeah, I think they confirmed that in the letter to Jugano Uh, so there's going to be an oak event, and just so much stuff for 1.7.9 that I hope you guys stick around with that notification bell hit, and hopefully I can spread some $25 
dollar joy to you guys in a new weekly giveaway but before we do end it off huge congrats again to chip the gamer for winning make sure to message me back so i can get you this code and spread some fan freaking testingness to you and best of luck to everybody in the new giveaway as well best of luck to you guys in the raids hopefully your raids go a little bit better than mine went today that's for sure best of luck joining the chopper squad since that's a pretty important squad but dude if this oak event does come out in the next update like i think they're saying there's gonna be more methods to get oak than just going up north baby that's gonna be huge because level three walls won't be something that the choppers soup like the chopper will still be very helpful but if there's an event to get oak mm, that is an awesome incorporation of it, but we're going to have to find that out when 1.7.9 is actually coming our way, and I'll be more than happy to spread that information straight to your faces as soon as possible, but uh, I think that's going to do it for me. Wishing y'all nothing but the most fan freaking fantastic day in the world. Thank you guys all the time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you next one. See ya.